Do it scholar profile, Dustin. Pictures of a man walking on a campus, standing in a crowded hallway wearing a suit and tie, standing in a lab, performing on a stage, and playing piccolo in a band. Hello, I'm Cheryl Bergstaller and I direct the Do It Center, Disabilities, Opportunities, Internetworking, and Technology. And in that center, we have numerous programs funded by different agencies. Uh, and the sole purpose is to increase the success of people with disabilities, uh, particularly in college, onto careers, but everything else. And Do It Scholars program, we kind of become like an extended family. One of our Do It Scholars, Dustin, I uh, started the program in 2013. Uh, my name is Dustin, and I'm a student here at the University of Washington School of Law, um, pursuing uh, a Juris Doctor degree, um, hoping to graduate in June 2024. Text, Dustin, 2013. From the classes, what I've learned is learning how to, well, one of the big things is to be a self-advocate. you got to advocate for yourself. I joined Do It when I was a junior in high school, so that was around springtime 2013. I went back to do it the following summer. It became somewhat of a summer tradition for me at least, because I went back to summer study, helped out as a member of the staff for um, through, I think, summer 2018, which was right around the time that I graduated um, undergrad here at the University of Washington. One thing that has me um, coming back to do it all these years is just knowing that it's kind of where my roots are. Um, especially as a person with a disability, um, Asperger's syndrome or autism spectrum disorder as it's now um, known. Um, but also just knowing that we do it, um, it's also where I first learned about disability rights and history. And so in undergrad, I took up disability studies as my minor, along with law society and justice and political science as my majors. But with uh, disability studies, I was able to get more and more involved with knowing about those types of, that type of history. And so it actually influenced what the, the type of law that I want to practice today, which is uh, disability rights. Several activities that I've done over the years of, of me being undergrad, at least. Um, uh, first and foremost, the Husky Marching Band. I was actually in the marching band as a member of the piccolo section all four years. Tequila! I worked at the commuter and transfer commons um, in, the, in the hub uh, during my junior and senior years. Being there for um, anyone who um, has any questions or inquiries. It's a huge honor um, to, to be selected for the Husky 100. I looked at my phone, I saw an email and it says, congratulations, you just got selected for the Husky 100. And I was just like, I was like, I was like this. I was like, I can't even believe it. I can't even believe I got nominated for, got selected for the Husky 100. This past summer, I interned at Washington Civil and Disability Advocate. The first year law school students, they have a class called Legal Analysis, Research and Writing, or LARW for short. And so I was able to take what I've learned from that class uh, uh, during my first, uh, my first year here at law school and to apply it towards um, drafting motions, basically asking the court to do something uh, in favor of your clients. The Do It community has been incredibly supportive of, has been incredibly supportive of me. Um, it, they've, um, they've been there whenever I needed help with getting accommodations in undergrad. Um, they've been there for me whenever I needed help with personal statements. And even if I just needed to talk to someone, so I, I want to give back. And I, that's, and being able to be in a, being a disability rights attorney and hopefully causing um, societal change for the good um, would allow me to give back to the disability community. One of my first friends that I met at Do It is someone who has a vision related disability and so and so um, and so over time I've gotten the chance to get to um, know her and and um, have conversations with her. Having that type of connection does kind of I get does kind of like bring, I guess, really increase my motivation to become more, I guess, aware and to educate myself around those things. And that also, uh, that has also been impactful. I just wanted to express a moment of gratitude for all of my mentors, my friends, family members, and my parents um, for uh, helping me get to where I'm at right now. Thank you for all that you've done for me. Do it, you, you, all, you are an inspiration. You are an inspiration. and. 
I am, and I'm, and I'm very fortunate to be a part of that, uh, be part of that group. And I hope I'm making you all proud. I really do. For more resources about supporting students with disabilities, consult uw.edu slash doit. Copyright 2023, University of Washington. Permission is granted to copy this material for non-commercial purposes, provided the source is acknowledged. <laughs>